The day three from the passage from St. Helena to Ascension. What are you doing? I'm feeding the piranha. <laughs> Where are we, babe? Freaking Ascension. Ooh, you got the biggest one. Yo. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky, and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. We embarked on our 700 nautical mile journey from St. Helena to Ascension Island, one step closer to completing our Atlantic crossing. Our days are pretty boring and uneventful, so we keep ourselves entertained. Ricky decided to pamper me today, so he's making food. It's so good. What are you making? Rum steak. Mm, it smells good. And um, what's this stuff? Butternut. Butternut. From Saint Helena. Be yeah, from Saint Helena. Mm -hmm. That was a ten dollar butternut probably. <laughs> and um, beetroot. So check it out. Prime South African rum. Yeah. Having rum in the middle of the Atlantic. On beetroot. We're literally in the middle of the Atlantic. So well. why is your fishing rod not out? To catch too many fish. No. I haven't been feeling like fishing, but now that the sun's out, tomorrow I like fishing the last two days, either middle or the last two days towards the island. So when we're going to Ascension, the day before and that day, we'll be fishing rods every day. But it's such a long trip that I'm just kind of like, let's just get there. It's boring. I think the crossing has just been like. It's just long. It's so so long. For passages, at least you like you're on watch, you're checking the the land. Like sometimes you see lights and there's interesting things going on. There's just nothing. There's just not water, even a bird. Water and more water. No birds. A little bit of fish. There's a little bit of flying fish going on, but there's really nothing. So. I'm eager for the part between, I enjoy the two days before getting to the island. I think the, the passage between Brazil and Grenada is going to be nice because we're going to be in the 200 meter mark and catching that current all the way up. So I'm looking forward to that. And the rest is just uh, keep ourselves occupied and get some good rest. And yeah, the winds have been good at least on this leg. This leg is much, much easier than then when we left from Valfus, Valfus to St. Helena was a shitty leg, but um, it's getting better now, it's awesome. The day three from the passage from St. Helena to Ascension, and today is party day. Simone, cue the music. And it's also day, um, day uh, two of running our spinnaker. 48 hours officially. Non-stop spinnaker. While we try to keep ourselves entertained on the boat, and keep our blood flowing, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode. And don't forget to like this video, it's a free way you can support our channel.
Since I have ample time on my hands, it's a lot easier to edit our videos and get down to doing some work. What's up suckers? How far do we still have to go? Not so far, just over the horizon. 65 miles over the horizon. 65. <laughs> How was this seven day trip for you? So far well, it's going to be more than seven. Yeah, seven days. We, it, it was better. Better than the first leg. I think this leg was much smoother. Swell was better, right direction. Wind was better. Made good progress. We did 700 miles in five and a half days. Not too shabby, Notch. How is it for you, Glenn? Yeah, the little lady's behaving herself now. Behaving herself. She's selling sweet, man. Sweet like a lemon. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> how, how much have we run the spinnaker? How much diesel did we burn? Very little. How much? I think we burnt like 50 liters. Hi! Yeah, we did burn a bit. Really? Yeah. When? <laughs> when I was too lazy to put up the spinnaker at night. She's pretty much... She's she, I think months. she... We did... What is the longest? Like 50 hours? Yeah. Non-stop up? Yeah. 50 hours yeah, without coming down at all. And then we pulled it down one or two hours and then put it up again. And then last night we ran the Jenny. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit into so this morning nice. and then she's back up again. Pink power. The big pink engine. The pink engine. No, she's, yeah. she's been good. But the 50 liters did include like three, four hours of motoring around St. Helena while we we're trying to get signal and recalibrate the autopilot and all of that. So if we look at trip time, probably only 30 liters. And how's your hydraulics running now that you've played the system? Well, there's still a little mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, what's the mistake now? Uh, the autopilot had like two blobs of air in it. Oh, no. And then uh, she contaminated the system. So, we still got a little bit of air in it. But hopefully, we'll get you up to Ascension, kick it out, get some spare oil, and she'll be good. And the alternator, don't ask me what, but she's pushing out 15.8. So there's definitely a regulator or something that's wrong there. So we're going to see if we can get a spare one until I can send that one back to Vitas and uh, I can see what was cooking. But I think it's just a reg failure. Hope oh, we'll just change it ourselves. Get another regulator if we can. We'll stick it in. It would be good. And we're making water. Got lots of water. Water makers running. We are like, I think, 40 nautical miles away from Saint Ascension. And... Um, we're gonna get there at like one in the morning, so we're just gonna have like little snoozes. Someone's gonna be on watch, and then all of us will be on watch to check anchor. We don't know how the anchorage is there, so we're gonna have to see how it is. If it's not too bad, um, and that there's not a crazy swell in there, and our visas got approved last night. Um, luckily, my brother in South Africa is able. We have soft comms with my family, so we just got him to do all the insurance that we need. We need insurance to cover cover for a certain amount and it needs to cover COVID and we have to do an e visa and 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 so we got the approval that all's good and that we can come in and then we can anchor and then hopefully Monday because tomorrow's Sunday so hopefully Monday we'll be able to go short which is gonna be so good. <laughs> what are you doing? Feeding the piranhas. Feeding the piranhas. <laughs> what? They were actually triggerfish, but they would eat anything you threw at them, hence why we called them piranhas. Where are we, babe? We're in Ascension. We're in Ascension. That's oh, like, that's Wait, pretty awesome. Fun. Check, check the water. That's, that's the sand in the water I've been dreaming of. It's hectic to get out here. This place is remote, but it's beautiful. It's freaking amazing. We arrived last night in the early morning. We haven't had last any. Night in the early morning. Last night it was night time, so it's last yeah. night. And it was very early. Uh, we haven't had much sleep. Ricky has had zero sleep. He's running on fumes, so we're gonna go find a Red Bull on this island for him. But yeah. we're here. We're on land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. Twenty-one days. We got land sickness. We're all dizzy. 
but this water is insane. Oh, so we were beautiful. so tempted to swim, but they told us we shouldn't because there's a crap load of sharks and tiger sharks to be exact. And the other boat, Victoria, um, Phil said that he saw a four meter tiger shark. So, uh oh. We'll swim in the shallows. But it's so pretty. It's amazing. And there's Lady Africa anchored out there, and hopefully, we get to move her. This is super cool. A lot of big dinghy right there. And this landing is very fun, it's very slippery. So look at all the little fishes. You come shorn. I tried to. You Tarzan style it. There. Uh, you could maybe get up here, but yes, too. Oh, this is the same. That's way, that's lower. Yeah, our first stairs to Ascension. We'll pretend that it's um, the stairs at St. Helena that we never got to climb. Yeah. <laughs> thing about this place is you don't have to wear a mask because it's 100% COVID free because all the paperwork and stuff you have to do to get you so yeah they've got a serious operation going they're busy resurfacing the runway so you can see all the equipment that's out here I'm pretty stoked to be here though it is you feel better now oh so good these cool cats coming in What's the tie up plan here? Cool. We, I think tie them all together. Alan says he's got a stern anchor. We got we got one one. Too. Oh, you guys are legends. I was just looking at what these guys are doing here. I, I wonder if I got a stern line too. That'll be perfect if we pull out there. I don't know if we'll get permission. I mean, we could do it now and if they say take it off, we take it off. What a place, huh? Beautiful. That's man. awesome. I want to dive. Check at this. How big was the tiger that you saw? We saw two. One was probably four meters, and the second one was smaller. Why, a kitty? Okay. See, I even went up the last step. Oh, I'm gonna touch people. <laughs> I touch people. I touch I Ricky. <laughs> we got down to exploring this cool island. First stop the bar for a quick cold one, then Dan, an Australian working on the island, saw us and offered to give us a ride and join them for a braai slash barbecue that they were having. The hospitality on the island was amazing. We wanted to get our legs moving again, so opted for a walk on the beach. It's also that time that the turtles lay their eggs, so we saw a lot of turtle tracks. Turtle egg shell. Yeah, who's a male? Melton. He stank. He stank. First I'm still in my pajamas. I know, I'm still sleeping. Ascension is known for its fishing, so we had to try it out. The small amberjack. Honey, we only want to eat. Huh? That's pretty cool. That was a nice. I just took the rod with the jig. Second cast. I caught a trigger. Did Third you? cost I caught that thing. You took it all back then? Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful species. Oh. Ooh, you got the biggest one. Yo. There you go. Yo. Open, open your baler. Glenn. We met a guy called Tony from Manchester to take us diving, although it wasn't recommended by locals because of the sharks. Em and I opted not to dive this time because the entry was pretty gnarly and we weren't keen on getting hurt on our first day on the island.
The visibility was amazing and the guys managed to get some crayfish. It was super tough to find them and you can't grab them with your hands. The Galapagos sharks were extremely inquisitive, so the pole spears were also a form of protection. Everyone good? Just back from our dive now. That was crazy Tony from Manchester. And uh, insane dive, like freaking insane. I actually don't know. Check that entry. How's yeah, that see, for you? So, we're going to do an entry tomorrow with the ladies and uh, we're going to come here. This might be a better dive for you. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. It's crazy Tony from Manchester. Piece of beautiful beach and amazing water everywhere. And the crew. How's the dive, Glenn? Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> 18. Show us some scars. Oh, no, this, so is, this is not diving, this yeah, is just foolishness. Yeah, the back of the head, I'm let's check. How oh, insane is this freaking island? Like, it's cool. It's very cool. Rugged, freaking volcanic, but um, freaking beautiful. To Ascension and everyone living on Ascension, this place is legendary. And everyone here is freaking amazing, seriously. Um, Cheers. Day was over and it was time to go have some crave for dinner. Got some good sauce craves. Super difficult to catch, man. So which ones you guys want? Uh, one, two, three. We can go we can one, 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 one. You choose, we we'll just, choose. Take we just one. each take one. Yeah. We'll just take a small one and a... Take a small one and a big one. Stay tuned as we carry on our adventure on this island before embarking to Brazil. Fingers crossed that they'll let us in. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and like this video. If you'd like to support our channel and contribute to helping us keep on uploading, you can do so by joining our Patreon family. A link is in the description below.